Hello, it is Rich Face back again for my life, my way, my face buried in a book. And oh my goodness, what a whirlwind the last three days of book reading have been. I don't actually know what to do with myself tonight because there's not a fourth for the Rebels of Sandland. Like, there were three. There's four Renaissance men, but there's only three books currently. So now I'm like, what do I do? So I started reading on my lunch break yesterday. Fractured Minds by Nikki J. Summers. The third in the series, so Finn's story. I started reading it on my lunch break. I read about three chapters on my lunch break. Then I got home and I sat down and I turned on my Kindle. And I didn't stop reading until I finished it. I don't even think I really stopped for dinner. Like, I ate and read at the same time because, like, I just couldn't not. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I, I don't know what to do with myself. I cried. She, Nikki J. Summers brought me to tears over a character in a book. I haven't cried in a book. For a book. Oh. I lie. I have cried recently. Maybe I'm getting emotional in my old age with books. But I did not expect to cry in this book. The last book I cried at, I knew I was going to cry. I was preempted crying the last time I was crying in a book. But this, this came out of nowhere. And the tear just slid from my face. Slid from my eye down my face. And I couldn't help it. And I was like, wait, wait. But, 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 but. It was pretty much my whole reaction through this one. And I knew this one was going to be a little bit darker. And a little bit deeper than the other ones like if they've all had deep aspects to them but Finn's story oh my goodness if there was ever a character that I just wanted to wrap up in bubble wrap and put him in a room with soft toys and blankets and just never let anything bad ever happen to him again Finn is that character Finn is that person that like if I could protect him from the world, I probably would. I would probably, much like Effie, I would give him all the time he needed and just wait for him to open up because from the get-go in Renegade Hearts, you could see that there was so much more to his character than what we got in the first two books. So when we actually did get a book just for him and Effie and their relationship. Oh my goodness, was it amazing. And this one was so differently done. Like, it was so much more what he was, as much as it focused on both what both of them were going through and how their relationship with each other changed and how each side saw the other side and everything like that. Getting inside Finn's head. Oh my goodness. I honestly don't know how she's managed to write these as well as she has. Like, they are phenomenal. Like, Finn's world, everything that he had been through that brought him to where he was and who he is. It's so understandable. Like, you can see why he is the way he is, why he's guarded in the way that he is, why he keeps Effie at arm's length for so much of the book. And oh my goodness, if you don't cheer when they finally get together, there is something wrong. And oh my God, over the last three books, I will say this, Liv drives me crazy. Like, I know she tells the truth all the time she's brutally honest and she says what you don't want to hear but oh my 
my god, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I also think that I can be that friend sometimes <laughs> to my friends where it's like, I know you don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you the truth anyway because, like, I'm just going to tell you the truth because I think you need to hear it. I think you need to hear my opinion. And so I do book reviews and give you my opinion. Whether you want to hear them or not, that's up to you. But, yeah. So, she, Liv drives me crazy. So, if she gets more of a starring role in future books, I'd be really interested because as much as she drives me crazy, I want to know more about her. I want to know what makes her tick. And I want to see where they go with her as well. But this wasn't about Liv. That was a side panel because oh my god Finn and his sister Alice I just want to wrap them up and I also want to know whether we are going to get a spin-off that deals with the ones the soldiers of anarchy is that what they're called I'm pretty sure that's what they're called isn't it have I just completely gotten that wrong we'll see yeah there no, we're going back a few pages. Yeah, okay, I know exactly where I'm going to. How bad is that? Because I know exactly what chapter I'm going to. I love that. I'm like, yes, no, I know exactly where I'm going to. There they are. Yeah, the Soldiers of Anarchy. Why did I doubt myself? I don't know. Because every time I think of the Soldiers of Anarchy, my brain automatically goes to... Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. Completely different thing. But, you know, kind of how I'm picturing some of the soldiers. Do we get a spin-off to the soldiers of Anarchy? Because that'll be really interesting because I know, I said it before, she does like this great thing where she can make you feel for what would typically be a bad boy. I'm not sure how you make us feel for these boy boys. Like, seriously, like, how do you... How do you make us feel for these guys? Like, oh my god, the things that they did to this... In this book. And, no, excuse me. Stay in your own lane, then. Because, like... There are rules. There are rules. About what you can and cannot do. And they broke the rules. I don't like that. But I also really liked those five characters. <laughs> so I really want to know more about them. Because I want to see what makes them tick. Because whilst I don't agree with everything they did in this book, and I don't agree with how they did everything in this book, and I feel like you can't really agree with something they did, but you can understand why. And I think you could see their reasoning. But I don't agree with how they treated Finn. But, you know. It all sort of played out to a very interesting point. And I think what I like about Finn's story is you saw how much he struggled with keeping everything inside his own head and then what he was willing to share with other people. And then how much of a brotherhood it was between him and the other Ren Renaissance men. And even though he kept so much to himself, when he finally did share what he was going through and what was happening, they dealt with it as a family. It's another really strong, strong sense of the, the most important family sometimes is not the one you were born into. Whilst, well, yes, Finn is very close with his sister, Alice, it goes to show that when he has a problem or he has nowhere to go, he goes to one of the Renaissance men. He goes to a brother, which is really, really, really nice. I also really like that Effie's parents are so supportive. It is so nice to see in these books a supportive family. Like, because, let's be honest, families in these books, they've sucked. The Blood family, they've sucked, pretty much, majorly. There is some major suckage going on when it comes to parents in these books. So for Effie to have a nice family and to have nice 
parents and for them to be accepting and welcoming of Finn was really nice. I really liked that. I liked that they were supportive of their daughter and supportive of what, her da what their daughter wanted to do and that was amazing. I also would really love if somebody could recreate, like, if somebody's recreated the artwork that she describes Finn as doing. Because, oh my goodness, that would be amazing to see. Like, I know an artist. And I am constantly in awe of what she creates. So to have this, I'm like only imagining how amazing it looks. And I would love to see it in real life. So if there is somebody who has recreated that, or you know of somebody who has recreated that, or a similar style, tag, comment, share, like, I don't... Let me see, please. Thank you. But yes, so this was the third in the Rebels of Sandland series. Brought me to tears. I read it quicker than I had any of the other two. And I... I honestly don't know what I'm doing with my life now because for the last three days it's revolved around these men and these books. So I now don't know what to do with my life. I know she's written other books, but that's not the Renaissance men and I don't know what to do with myself. So for tonight, I'm going to sit in my cozy blanket and scroll TikTok and just existing sadness because there's not another book so yeah that's what i'm going to do i'm going to relive these stories in my brain and figure out how in the world you meet a renaissance man and these girls because oh my god i want to be friends with the girls and i want to be friends with the boys i just want to be in their world and yeah so that's my plan for the rest of the night for the rest of the day whatever until I can find something else that I'm going to read. Like, I have a massive to-be-read list. But at the moment, I think I'm just going to take a night, relax, and just let myself be. Because, oh my goodness, the Rebels of Sandland took it out of me in so many ways. And it's so amazing. And I'm so happy. Okay. That's it. I highly recommend Fraction Minds. All three Rebels of Sandland series books you will absolutely adore. Like they are 18 plus, so bear that in mind. They are not children's books, they are for adults only. There is some spice. There is some spice. But yeah, Nikki J. Summers, you will definitely be going from Kindle to paperback and onto my bookshelf. Yes. Okay. Bye.